In this video, we are going to use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate a missing side length by using the length of the hypotenuse and the length of the other side. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's get started with this video. So first, let's draw our right triangle. And we know that this is a right triangle because of this square in one of the corners. This square means that that angle is 90 degrees. And we are going to use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate this side length. So we need the measurements for the hypotenuse, which is five centimeters, and the other side, which is four centimeters. But before we start, remember to always name your sides. In our formula, we have A, B, and C. So we need to go and name our sides A, B, and C, where C is always the hypotenuse. The other two sides, you can always switch, but C is always the hypotenuse, opposite the right angle. And now, before we start, let's just look at what we already know. When we have a right triangle, we know that the square root of A plus the square root of B is equal to the square root of C. But what if I need to calculate the length of A? We are still going to use the same formula, we'll just write it a bit differently. Because to calculate A, you are going to take C square and subtract B square to get the value of A square. And what if you need to calculate the length of B. Now you're going to take C square again, you're going to subtract A square and that will give you the value for B square. And this is how you can calculate the length for B. So now let's go back to our example. So the first thing we do is we write down our formula. A square plus B square is equal to C square. But we don't want to calculate C, we want to calculate a. So we know now that C square minus B square is going to give us A square. So now we can just fill in the values. So C is 5, so it's going to be 5 square, minus B is 4, so it's going to be 4 square, is equal to A square. And 5 square is 25, minus 4 square is 16, and that is equal to a square and 25 minus 16 is 9 and that is equal to a square but we don't want the value for a square we want the value for a we want the side length so what will we do now we will take that a square and get rid of the square and how do we do that by taking the square root of a square and that will cancel the square but we can't only do that to a square, we also need to get the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3 and that is equal to a. But a is not just 3 because 3 can mean anything. It can mean 3 days, 3 apples, 3 oranges. So we need to go and write down a is equal to 3 centimeters. And now you know that the length for A is 3 centimeters. Now let's look at another example. And before we start, let's name the sides. So we're going to have A, B, and C, where the hypotenuse is always C. You can switch the other two sides around. And we start with our formula. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. But we don't want to calculate C, we want to calculate B. So it's going to be C squared minus A squared is going to give us B squared. And now we can fill in our values. So C is 10, so 10 squared minus A is 8, so 8 squared is equal to B squared. And 10 squared is 100 minus 8 squared is 64 and that is equal to b square and 100 minus 64 is 36 and that is equal to b square but we don't want the value for b square we want the value for b so we need to get the square root of b square so that we can cancel out that square but we also need to get the square root for 36 and that is 6 and that is b so b is 6 
but B isn't only 6, B is 6 millimeters. But when we calculate the length of a side, it doesn't always work out perfectly as a whole number. Sometimes it ends up as a decimal. So let's do this example together. And before we start, let's name our sides. So we have A, B and C. And we want to calculate A. So we write down our formula. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. But again, we're not going to calculate the length of C. We want to calculate the length of A. So we know it's going to be the hypotenuse, C squared, minus the other side, B squared. And that is going to give us A squared. And now we can just fill in our values. So C is 13 squared, minus B is 8, so it's 8 squared. And that is equal to A squared. And 13 squared is 169 minus 8 squared is 64 and that is equal to A squared. And 169 minus 64 is 105 that is equal to A squared but we want the value for A and not A squared so we use the square root to get rid of the square and we also need to get the square root of 105. And the square root of 105, you don't need to know this by heart. You can put this in your calculator and you will get something like this. 10,246950766 and so on. And that is equal to A. But remember, when a question doesn't state exactly to how many decimals you need to round off, you always round off to two decimals. So you always round off to the nearest hundreds. So A is going to be 10,25 because the 6 changed the 4 to the 5. And that is not 10,25 oranges, but 10,25 meters. So your length for A is going to be 10,25 meters. And just like in all my other videos, there will be a worksheet with the memo in the description box below. Just click on the link and you can go and download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.